Okay, so today I am going to show you how to make your own fabric. Uh, basically, it's pretty easy to start with. You just grab a piece of paper, pen, start drawing, and then if you want to, you can use colored pencils to color everything in, or markers, or whatever you feel comfortable with. Some people like to paint. Other people just like to put all the color on on the computer. So, first things first, time to pour a glass of wine. Although, being that it is only 10.39 a.m., perhaps more appropriate would be coffee. I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Alright, so, coffee. Mm. The most important thing in the world. Okay, so I've got my pen, paper, colored pencils, and I think what I'm going to do is I actually started um, a silly line, uh, which I entitled Frog and Fairy, because I have frogs and fairies in it. And see if I can figure out another, another scene, maybe, that they would engage in. Uh, typically what I do when I start drawing is I don't like to use pencil because I really hate erasing pencil. So I just go for it. Um, as you can tell, on my fairy, I had uh, one start before I got the one that I finally wanted. And with Frog, it took a couple tries to get to get uh, the style that I thought would go good with the fairy. And also um, be relatively simple to reproduce in multiple angles. So I I think, looking at this, we've got uh, Fairy giving Frog a flower, Frog and Fairy playing chess together, um, Frog catching flies, and then just sitting back to back on a lily pad. Basically, what you want to do, draw something out really quick, color it in, see what it looks like, and then you can play with it on the computer. It's pretty simple to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. So, I've got... I think I'm going to do fairy. First. And I'm going to have him. What am going to do? Maybe. Not sure what he's going to be doing yet. So now I think I'm going to draw a frog in a specific position. We maybe I'll have frog actually jumping up in the air. What would he be jumping for? Hmm. Maybe not jumping. Maybe I'll have him tied to a balloon, like he's flying with Gary. So let's say the balloon is tied right here. Frog's going to be too excited about this trip. 
So basically something like that. Then color it in. This is my color palette, so that's why it's separated in here. It makes it easier to grab. And so what I like to do is grab one color at a time. Just start adding in my color. I don't really worry too much about staying in the lines because personally it's boring if you stay in the lines. I do, however, want to make sure that I use the right colors. <laughs> Finishing this up right now, adding the color to the balloon. Go with the red orange. Try not to go with red. It kind of tends to be a little. I don't know. I like the. I like the look of like a fiery orange. I think it plays better with the other fabrics than going with a solid red of sorts. So, there is my frog and fairy, um, frog riding on a balloon while fairy's flying with them. And now, time to go scan it into the computer. We keep our scanner in the closet. It's ugly, nobody wants to look at it anyway. Okay, so the next step is to go into a photo editing program. Apparently I am just using Photoshop. And what I'm doing is I'm opening up the files that I scanned first. Adding them into the page. So then what I want to do is I want to open it up, file, do, do, do. I want to copy it over to a blank page. I figure I'm going to be putting two on the screen. So go ahead and paste this one over here and then paste this one on the other side perfect Now, previously I had done another page, like I said, and this one was just going to be my fussy cut one. And what I did is I just took four of those images, laid them out so that two would be three by three and two would be three by four, um, basically so that I could, or three by three and a half I think is what they were pretty much. Um, anyway, so I've got this. So what I want to do is I really like this color, and I think I want to stick with that color. So dropper, copy it over, go to my other page, take the paint bucket, and what I want to do is background, layer 1, 
layer 2 and what that does is that fills in everything and let me show you something if you don't pay attention that can happen to you so let's go ahead and undo that last paint bucket issue and it looks like we got another one over here as well but I think that one will be relatively simple to fix So, give me just that and I'll show you.